The same energy fields that enable people like Ingo Swan to leave their body and travel through space are thought to be responsible for causing objects to move. This rare talent for moving objects by force of will alone has been termed psychokinesis, or PK. Ninel Kulagina is a Russian housewife who has this ability. These films of her demonstrating PK were made in a Russian hotel room and smuggled out of the country by American researchers. She gets the object moving with gestures of her hands or by fixating the object with nothing more than her eyes. Kulagina has been studied intensively for more than 10 years by Professor Sergeyev of Leningrad University, who has reported on her work. These films and demonstrations are subjects of unending controversy. Is she a sensitive or a charlatan? According to those present at these demonstrations, it sometimes takes Mrs. Kulagina two to four hours to rev up her supernormal powers. Her pulse races to 250 beats a minute. She loses up to three pounds after a demonstration of psychokinesis. Edward Normov is a Soviet researcher sitting to the left of Ninel Kulagina. He reports she was actually much sicker than she looks in the film. The strain on her heart was so great we had to stop the camera several times. It took us over seven hours to make the film, and afterwards she temporarily could not speak or see. For days after doing the tests, her arms and legs hurt. She felt dizzy and could not sleep. She described a sensation that usually heralds success, a sensation like that of a hot stream of energy traveling from the base of her spine up to the back of her neck and remaining there as if waiting for her to direct it. She adds ruefully, that this hot current often leaves her with a bad headache. According to the Soviet view, PK is not accomplished by mind over matter, but rather by mind over force field. The Soviets claim they've already devised machines that create magnetic and other kinds of artificial fields that increase psychic powers, particularly telepathy and PK. According to Dr. Ravitz, in the 1951 Yale Journal of Biology and Medicine, the action of the sun and moon also affects the body's force field. Dr. Sergeyev agrees. The most favorable time for PK is during magnetic disturbances of the earth caused by sunspot activity. What is beginning to emerge is a new picture of the human being not an alienated creature, but a being enmeshed in an ebb and flow with everyone and everything around him. The pulsing magnetic fields of machines, earth, moon, sun, the thoughts and emotions of ourselves and other people, all affect the energy fields of our bodies, and in turn, the Russians say, our psychic powers. 